Hello and welcome to the Gallatin County Video News. I'm Jennifer Cervellis. Last week we told you about the yard sales at the Warsaw BP and that Jackie Giles wanted people who set up there to pay for a business license. Last month at the council meeting, Giles said that it looks like Sanford and Sun out there. This remark in itself offended a lot of people, but at this month's meeting he said something even more offending than that when he compared goodwill to a dumpster. The Gallatin County newspaper reported that Giles said, quote, Week in and week out, you get a big wagon that rolls up with enough children's clothes to outfit the whole town when they ought to be taken to a Goodwill or finding a dumpster. At 8.30 last night, a car spun off the road near the Boone County line. When officers arrived on the scene, they said no one was hurt, but the vehicle did sustain damage and needed a wrecker. That is all the information we have. We have been putting together a story for the last three weeks on income tax and whether or not people are required by law to pay it. John Kane is with us now with more on the story. That's right, Jennifer. For the last three weeks, I've been trying to find a law that requires Americans to pay income tax. And what I found will amaze you. It's actually very simple. Congress tried to enact an income tax in 1894. The Supreme Court said that's unconstitutional. When the Supreme Court says something is unconstitutional, it's unconstitutional. They tried again in 1913, and the Supreme Court said the 16th Amendment conferred no new power of taxation. So, if they didn't have it then, and they didn't get it, they don't have it. There is no constitutional basis for a tax on the wages of Americans living and working in the 50 states of the Union. There is no law, and to date, nobody has been able to show that there is a law for the average American citizen working day in and day out to pay an income tax. The definition of income in the Constitution was given in the Eisner versus McCumber case and it turns on gains or profits that are made from some act. Warsaw's very own Ronnie Smith says that he knows the secret of not paying income tax. Sure, first off what I did is uh, I learned I learned a secret that a lot of people don't really know or understand in America. <clears throat> a long time ago in the 20s when they created the Social Security Administration, they had already incorporated a company and named it the United States of America. Now you can tell the difference between these two different United States of America by the word United. If you see the word United written with a capital U, you know that's a proper noun. And the word United is not a proper noun. The only time it should be capitalized is at the beginning of a sentence. When you see a small case U, United States of America, that's the real United States of America. It's the states all united as one. But when you see a capital U, United States of America, that's a corporation. And they've incorporated themselves and started a company and they've given everyone in the United States, the real United States, the opportunity to join this corporation. Now when you join the corporation, you get your corporate identification number and that's your social security number. That number is used to identify you as a taxpayer who pays taxes to this corporation. Now it's an illegal thing that they've done but they've done it with contracts. So when you contract your rights away they give you these other rights. Now what we have normally in America is called inalienable rights. These are rights that are given to us by our Creator that can't be taken away by anyone. But we can contract those rights away. We can sign a piece of paper that says, I accept civil rights. Now civil rights, they sound great. Oh, I got civil rights. It sounds great, but it's fake. Civil rights have taken our inalienable rights and enumerated them into civil rights so that the government can take them away whenever they please. It's kind of like they're playing God. They're the new God. Uh, gold, oil, and drugs. They control it all. That's God. Gold, oil, and drugs. And the United States government has controlled it all. So when I learned this secret that it was all a contractual obligation, income tax, one of the keys to me was when I called up the IRS and I said, hey, how do I pay my income tax? They said, well, you have to fill out the form 1040. You can use the easy form if you want, but every form they have has a spot for social security number. So I asked the lady, I don't have anything to put in here. What do I put in the place of a social security number? She says, you don't have a social security number? And I said, no. 
And she says, well, you have to get a social security number and put it in the form. And I said, oh, I don't want a social security number. And she says, if you're gonna fill out that form, you have to have one. So there's the key right there, ladies and gentlemen, is if you don't have a social security number, you're not obligated to pay income tax to the federal government because you're not a citizen of the corporate United States. Now, without a social security number, are you able to get a job at any place? Most places won't hire you without a social security number unless you are a private contractor and you take care of your own taxes. That's the way I've been able to work is as a private contractor and I take care of my own taxes. What about uh, driver's license or any other thing that you... Here you, in you... Kentucky, there was a suit not long ago, I think maybe 15 years ago, 20 years ago, where they took the social security number off of the driver's license. They used to use the social security number here in Kentucky as the driver's license number. And I would never get one. I never did get a driver's license until they got rid of that part. So they, the state doesn't require you to have a social security number? Not at all. What about if you do have the social security number? I know in one of your videos you said it was the loophole that everybody was mm -hmm. looking for. But even if you do have a social security number, uh, there is no law that states that you have to have a social or have to pay income tax. Well, yeah, that, there is really. Uh, the, the IRS has the, the United States corporate code. You know, the code of the IRS says that if you are a taxpayer, you have to pay income tax. When you get that number, you register yourself as a taxpayer. Voila, you have to pay income tax. Now what I did is that when I found out about this, I didn't get a social security number myself. My parents got it for me as a kid. So I renounced the social security number. Any contract can be uh, revoked. You can revoke your signature from any contract once you find out that that contract is a fraud, has been uh, perpetrating on you in, in, in falsity. So I took my social security card that I had from my parents and I put it in an envelope and I renounced it. I, I made a big old statement renouncing my social security number, filed it in the courthouse and in the deeds and books, put it in the newspaper as a public notice, and then I mailed it back, certified return receipt requested to the Secretary of State. And I got my little certified receipt showing that they received my social security card and, and, and my letter of so renunciation. How, how hard would it be, say, if, um if somebody was to cancel a social security number, what are they? What should they expect? And you know, are they going to run into all kinds of problems with the law? Or are they going to be able to buy things, make money? You know, like I said, you have to be a private contractor. If your boss will will let you hire on as a private contractor, you got it made. Now, how would that boss pay you? Would he have to fill out tax forms on you, or uh, no, no, no. private con? There's whole separate rules for private contractors. They pay you your full wage. They don't have to take anything out. All they have to do is report what they've paid to the private contractor. Yeah, well, once people learned the scam, they scammed us and they made a, a United States of America that's not really the United States of America. Like in the Kentucky Constitution, I don't know if you've ever read it, the second section of the Kentucky Constitution says, no man or any group of men, no matter how large, can have absolute control over the life, liberty, or property of any free man in the Commonwealth. The law. You're right, you can't find the law requiring you yeah, well, it's a trick. It's a little trick. They call you a taxpayer in the code. When you get the Social Security number, you become a taxpayer. That's your taxpayer ID number. It's a trick, and they don't write it anywhere. They just say, oh, uh, all taxpayers, any person who is re required to pay, you know, that's all it says, any person who is required. After searching and searching for the law requiring Americans to pay income tax, I have been unsuccessful. So now I'm going to turn it over to you. Here at GC Video News, we will offer $100 to the first person who can provide the law requiring Americans to pay income tax. This is open for as long as you're seeing this video up. Um, again, if you can do a little research, find a law that requires you to pay income tax, I will give you $100. That's our news for this Saturday, May 16th, 2009. And if you have a news idea, you can email us at news at gcvideonews.com. I'm Jennifer Sorellis. Thanks for watching.